uh, NPD says that uh, the security is governed by each vertical as well as uh, say if you are if you are doing um, NPD from the personal data, the whatever laws are there in the PDP automatically applies to NPD. But there are, there are a bunch of problems there in terms of uh, how, how it can uh, morph. One is the cascading effect, right? In terms of say, um, one person is opted out and how you are going to audit the entire opt out across the downstream federated data as well. There are some contractual classes, but the thing is, if something happens there, uh, how you can prevent it. First and foremost is from a customer. If you're thinking about it, all these bills are trying to increase the customer trust. Now, if something happens in three or four of your federated systems, the trust is automatically broken. So, so even though you have a contractual clause protecting your business saying that wherever leakage happens, he is liable, but the leakage and the source, if they look back at the source, the trust on the entire ecosystem takes a hit on this, right? So if the consent is not working well. So this is something which is a technical challenge. I wouldn't say it's a legal challenge, but it is a technical challenge for people in terms of how it is. Another is the, the ownership, right? So in terms of how the security ownership is transferred from each of this thing, who's the data owner? Now that becomes an additional cataloging problem in terms of who's the owner at each point of time and who has given access permissions and who has the audit rights on whether the secure mechanisms are working or not. And in terms of actual exchange, if I think about the data as a service or data business, what happens is you will have that specific business team sitting one-on-one -on -one with the consumption team and they'll be jotting it down saying, I'll need three layers of security or two layers of security. I need a IPsec, I need a VPN on top of it and you need to encrypt my data with a public key or my secret key. So all these nuances are captured. So in this case, who's gonna capture the nuances and how it is gonna happen and how many such contracts we are gonna handle, right? So those are all various uh, security aspects which we need to think into. And other thing is, um, but even the key management, take a simple scenario. Are we going to create uh, one key per consumer? And if, any key which you're creating will be adhered by a key rotation policy, update and rotation policy, right? So how this all pans out into the entire federated ecosystem? This is another, um, I would say, this is another consideration where uh, when you are implementing all these drafts or when you are thinking about how this will pan out into your ecosystem, this has a major impact on how you're going to have that. So it is going to have a major impact on the data security areas.